three two one what is up everyone welcome back to conversing with chris and misa the podcast today is tuesday it is july 14th it is 6 30 p.m local time here in el paso texas today guys as always i'm joined by co-host of the podcast misa say what's up yo 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 what it do what it do what it do <laughs> As always, guys, producer of the podcast, Miss Melena's here with us. Lena, say what's up. Hi, hello. And today, guys, we have a very special guest joining us all the way from the nation's capital in Washington, D.C. All right. <laughs> his, <laughs> his name is Dre, a.k.a. Dre on Wills, host of the 1130 podcast. Dre, go ahead and say what's up to the podcast, man. Hey, what's going on, man? How everybody doing? Like you said, man, Dre, aka Dre on Wales, host of the Eleven Thirty Podcast. Thank you guys for having me on. What's going on? Welcome, Dre. Welcome, man. Welcome. It's about time we get to meet, man. About time. I listen to you guys all the time, and you you stand out. You 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 stand out, man. Thanks, man. Uh, I had asked Chris about you when, when we we're gonna get together, and Chris is like, "No, nah, man, Eleven Thirty Podcast is all me, man. It's all me." <laughs> It's all me and Dre. Yeah. I'm not taking them away from you, man. (laughs) Take them, man. Keep them. We don't even like them. (laughs) Hey, well, first off, man, I just want to thank you for uh, joining the podcast today. Uh, I really do appreciate you coming on and spending some time with us. And I look forward to this podcast. I really feel like our audience is going to enjoy this one. So a little backstory of how me and Dre kind of met real fast because we'll get into a little bit of the logistics later but essentially our boy dre here is a host or is the host of the 1130 podcast which is up on youtube anywhere you can find a podcast he's out there and he also hosts a wrestling podcast that you know he releases on the side as well so he 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 does a lot of content and um we linked up just by uh meeting over facebook social media kind of brought us together and i've done uh two podcast episodes with him and um, it's kind of cool to now have him on our podcast so that he can kind of get a feel of the way we do things on our end. So first off, dude, I just want to thank you and congratulations and welcome to the podcast. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Like you said, uh, we met in the groups and everything and I saw you and we glanced by each other, though. But uh, I was really, really looking for a uh, guest and you came through, man, and especially came through for the second episode. So um, I appreciate it very much. And like you were saying, I have a wrestling podcast also. I'm a big wrestling fan. Um, favorite wrestler is The Rock, you know, so nice. um, love it. And uh, yeah, my main podcast each and every Tuesday, a new episode came out today with Chris, real cool uh, episode called The uh, the Entanglement with everything going on with that wild story. But um, yeah, man, I'm glad to be here. Kind of just give us an introduction of who you are. Let the audience uh, that doesn't know you uh, know a few things about yourself, if you will. Well, my name is DeAndre. Everybody called me Dre from D.C. Um, born and raised, really pretty much haven't been um, too far from D.C. Besides uh, Baltimore and uh, Richmond, Virginia. I just have a passion, you know, for entertainment and just talking and just just sharing my point of view and uh i kind of got lost for a while knowing what i want to do just getting comfortable and just complacency and turned everything around for myself um for the last six months or towards a year and um i was you know trying to start a business with my brother but um that didn't really go so well but i knew we could do this podcast thing because he was doing it first. So I was like, yo, man, I kind of digging that, man. I want to do that. So he gave me the tools and everything to the drive and the motivation to do it. And I just took it to another level. And it's the 1130 podcast, man. So where does 1130 come from? Well, November 30th is my birthday. Oh, oh, Good shit. November my not brother. even, not even, not even my own mom figured it out until I, I gave her. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's in the fifteenth. That's sick. That's so sick. November, baby. That's a that's a good creative uh, name for your podcast. That that is like Thank tied you. into yourself personally. So yeah. definitely, guys, um, go check him out on YouTube. Uh, like I said, anywhere that podcast can be found, you can find our boy Dre and the Eleven Thirty Podcast. So 
Um, let's uh, get into this podcast, guys. Um, you already know what's about to happen. It's a tradition unlike any other here on Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast. Damn. Okay, guys. So, this is going to be episode number 35. Featuring my boy. Already? This is episode 35 already, guys. For everyone who's been following this podcast from the wee beginning, you know how far we've come. And shout out to all you guys who've been supporting us. Make sure you guys hit us up on YouTube. We hit 100 subscribers, by the way, guys. You, you, shout you, out you, to you. us. Congratulations. Congratulations. And thank you guys somebody. for helping us get there. Um, yeah, did somebody, somebody has said I needed to pierce my belly button now or something. Oh, oh shit. Oh. You should do it. I see you guys um, uh, had the eggs and the bear. So when you guys get the 200, what else you guys want to do? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I should get to pick because I did the last one like a champ. Yeah, yeah. I think I think, I think think Lena gets to pick because, you know, when she, she drunk the eggs and the bear, she just made you guys the pussy. <laughs> it looks like Lena does that shit every 15 minutes when he, she, she feels like she needs some nutrients in her. She's like, I don't feel right right now. Chris, give me a raw egg. <laughs> when I fucking feel myself getting weak, just crack an egg and just drop it in. And yeah, dude. We, you know what? You should. We should have done like I did last time, man, with like the milk and ketchup oh, and no, mustard no, 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 and no. and tuna. We gotta do like other challenges, like something. I don't know. I think the best thing about that challenge was just exactly what Dre was saying. How uh, me? <laughs> well, for sure, myself. I look like a complete fool and, and like it, a a complete pussy. Misa, he held his own. He actually took a gulp. If you watch the live stream, you can see it go <laughs> yeah. down. I, I literally like felt the yolk in my mouth and I was like, <laughs> right, away, right away, dude. But um, <laughs> that was a cool live stream, guys. So go check that out on YouTube. We're going to be posting more of our live streams as they. Um, hey, you guys want to do it again right now with with uh, our boy Dre right here? <laughs> hey, Dre, you got some eggs, dude? I'm gonna keep up with you guys when you guys get the 200. We got, we gotta step it up. I think. All right, all right, <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. That that's a good motivation right there. Fair enough. Okay, once we get to 200 subscribers, we'll actually let Dre choose what we'll, we'll do for a challenge, and we will do it as long as it's not crazy. You know what I mean? But you want us um, to eat like a crazy, like hot pepper, or like something along those lines, or chug a gallon of milk or something. We can do it. I can't even have hot stuff. I'm the worst Mexican ever. <laughs> like, stay away from hot. I'd rather you do something gross than hot. No hot sauce for you? No hot sauce? I'll pass. In that case, do do extra hot sauce, dude. <laughs> You're just mad and jealous. Yeah, dude, she's she's weak, bro. She can't have anything spicy, which is, I don't understand. But anyways, so guys, Dre, I wanted you to, or I wanted to ask you if you could, if you can give us any thoughts or critiques on our podcast, uh, anything that you might like or dislike about it. Man, it's nothing I don't like. It's everything I do like about it. You know, I heard about a good about five episodes so far already. Like I was saying, uh, Misa is the entertaining guy. It seems like, you know, he can't, he, he'd rather get in a boxing ring. So I wanted to ask him, you know, who we, Misa, who would you rather fight? You know, for a million dollars, who would you rather fight? Mike Tyson or Floyd Money Mayweather? Oh, shit. Woo! See, okay, for like, like how long? Is it like one full round? Like it's three minutes for three minutes. Oh, three minutes, dude. I'll probably go with Floyd. Okay. Right. Just because, you know, Mike Tyson, I probably probably won't even remember or survive that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right. Mike Tyson, it's scary, dude. Mike Tyson, I don't know. I um, I have nightmares of that guy. <laughs> I'd rather not. Mayweather, I could actually kind of pretend that I want to start throwing some some one twos on him. You know, he'll start running away. Um, and that's how time, time goes by quick like that. You know, not when you're getting pounded. By Mr. Mike Tyson. Anyways, is he coming back by chance? I thought Mike Tyson was coming back. He was, but I, uh, you know, I, I, got, I know he got a new movie coming out that uh, Jamie Fox is gonna. Uh, oh, play Tyson in the movie. So, see, yeah. like, I wouldn't even fight Mike Tyson right now. <laughs> yeah. Let alone back in his prime, dude. No, hell no. Yeah, he putting out putting out videos, looking a monster right now. So <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think nobody wants to fight him right now. Not even, not even his own tiger. Probably won't. <laughs> His tiger is like, yeah, nah, dude, I'm out. Because yeah. he knows. I, I honestly, uh, if I had to go on record, I would say Misa would get mopped by both Floyd Mayweather and Mike Tyson. <laughs> what about me and Chris? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to let, let Lena be the judge on that one. 
I've already told Chris if there's like zombie apocalypse, like he's in the dust. So <laughs> <laughs> this is not a fighter. That's the thing about Chris. Yeah, yeah, he, Chris would fighter. probably try and calm things down. And the thing is, I'd probably feel sorry and then calm down with him. Next thing you know, we're going to be having beers together. Yeah, yeah I would turn exactly. the conflict into like a social gathering. Try, and then yeah, like exactly. we would be having a beer and then Blue would come over or Joe would come over. And then the next thing you know, it's a full on party. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. So. Yeah, I, so peacemaker yeah dude i'm the peacemaker for sure so let's keep this podcast rolling guys we're gonna do the kicking things off segment the kicking things off segment is essentially where we go around the virtual zoom meeting everybody kind of tells the podcast a little bit about what's new with them uh recently so guys i will start that that one off today actually um i've been kind of like training for like this new job not a new job but like a new like process at work and um it's kind of funny like when people are training you and it's like they kind of like when they actually don't really know a lot about you they assume that you're just like completely clueless you know what i mean and so today this lady was trying to teach me like i think it's just you chris no i I, I, dude i i mean i don't understand like she was trying to teach me like this new process and when she was explaining like how to log on to the computer and like open up a program she's like you're gonna want to drag your mouse to the bottom left corner and hit the start button you know what i mean like super basic like i'm like by the way lady i have a podcast 100 subscribers on youtube so i don't think you need to be teaching me this right now i'm just saying you know what i mean i can work your phone better than you too by the way you know what i mean and it was just funny i mean obviously i didn't say anything because it's a professional work environment so you know i bite my tongue but i was like man she really thinks Damn, i'm dude, super that must have been some long literate. training yeah, dude. Long it, was, training, dude. it sucked. It sucked. So, Lena, what's new with you? Uh, I'm well. It's our obviously going to be about school, like about a month till school. So I've already started reading a couple of my books and just getting back on that fucking grind. That's it. Lena, <laughs> schools for fools. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's. I mean, I think I've. I've uh, definitely like. Now that I've picked a science degree, it kind of helps me um, just like when I see shit on the news and when I see shit on social media, like research it, educate myself, be a part of the conversation in a positive way, but make sure I know what's what, you know, so it's cool. Nice. Dude, actually, today I woke up extremely early on a day off, you know, I'm I'm usually, uh, you know, during my work week, I'm up at 130 in the morning. I clock in at three in the morning. But uh, this morning I was off, dude. I was up at like five in the morning, nothing to do, you know? So I did some chores, you know, <laughs> and then my sink started leaking. So I had to go and fix that. I had no idea my trash can had a hole. Oh. I ended up throwing like a full drink from last night out. So it leaked everywhere. So it wasn't it wasn't <laughs> a good morning to say. But then, bro, I decided to get some wings, man. It's been some <laughs> while since I've had some wings. So I ordered from a... Wingstop, shout out to Wingstop. I know they're listening right now. Holla. <laughs> but, um, dude, I ordered a 10 piece, man. I got a 12 piece, dog. A 12 piece. Oh, see. Now, now it's happened to where I get one extra, dude. But two, man, someone did it on purpose. Somebody knew I was having a shitty day. And he's like, dude, just hook this guy up with two more <laughs> wings, you know? And, um, yeah, man, they hit the spot, dude, for sure. It's too nice. bad. Uh, too bad I forgot to get that beard too. But. That's why I love food. Like low key food makes me happy. Like I know people are like, no, but it's like when you look forward to that and then you get the good meal and it's right? everything that you tasted <laughs> and, and hoped and for. And then to know that it's keeping you alive. Mm. Yeah. Facts. God bless. I mean, yeah, we sound like we eat a lot of food on this podcast. Don't we? <laughs> well, I mean, look at us. Okay. So <laughs> Dre, really fast, man. Uh, what's <laughs> what's new with you? Well, it wasn't wings. I had a hot dog. <laughs> but, um, well, a new episode uh, for the n- new episode of the Eleven Thirty Podcast dropped today. Um, I've just been, you know, working and growing the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I'm about uh, five hundred thirty subscribers. Trying to get to a thousand and celebrate. Um, I've been doing it for less than a uh, less than a year, just about six months right now, going on wow. two That's months. Cool. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. So. Everybody taking a liking, a liking to it. Yeah, uh, they really like it and the style and everything. Um, just about that and getting people on the show who wanted to be a guest and some um, can do this whole Zoom thing now because I, I did not know what this was all about, but I 
of course it was you know what everybody was doing since no one can have close contact now it took us a while man like um like some of our our best recordings when we started was obviously when we were doing it in person but when this rona decided to come in our lives like a bitch that she is <laughs> she she broke everybody up you know so uh we we started off with uh, using like facetime do you do your uh, podcast before uh Zoom. We would do the podcast at my crib in, in my garage. And Ooh. so we would set up like a nice long white table um, set up, you know, before we didn't have these mics that we have now or the soundboard. So we would literally just set like a Yeti blue mic in the middle of the table, change one of the settings and then just go from there. So it's been pretty crazy to see the progression of this for sure. Yeah, man. It's like it's like we invented the wheel and now we're rolling on the Rolls Royce. And that's the, yeah. cool, that's the cool thing about when you collaborate <laughs> <laughs> with people, because it was originally Misa's idea to be like, yo, like, I'm down with this shit. Cool, you know, but his idea in the sense to say, hey, like, let's upgrade. Let's check out some shit. He had, him and his wife, I guess, had already kind of looked at some of the stuff that we have now. He's like, what do you think? You know, so I think that <laughs> it's important when when you want to create something and then you find somebody who's on that same wavelength instead of just saying oh i'm down you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i think all of these upgrades it's just taken us to another level but in the best way you know what i mean and i feel like if you listen to the old podcasts to now i definitely think you're going to notice a difference in like a really good way yeah same same with me but uh, with this whole Zoom thing, like I was doing the podcast, I was doing it, so it really didn't affect me with the old coronavirus. I was always doing it by myself in here, so I just wanted to guess, and the Zoom thing provided me with that. So it just been going, you know, the way it been going. Do you guys see yourself keep using Zoom, and how's it going right now uh, throughout the whole coronavirus, even if things get better? Um, I would say we definitely want to get back to in-person recording. It's not that the vibe isn't cool like when you do it over Zoom, but it's just not the same. You know what I mean? When you get to hang out with your guests and like chill and like it, it you get like a more personable side of them. But what I was thinking, too, is like um, the people who like develop Zoom, they're like fucking living life right now, bro. They're banking so hard because now everybody in every corporation is on this shit. <laughs> So that's yeah. fucking crazy. So uh, when everything clear up, I got to get me a ticket to El Paso so we can. Oh. Do yes, yes, we're for here. sure, man. Yeah, okay. We're here. okay, that's a good. That's a good. Uh, um, that's a good segue to what I wanted to ask you about. So, um, if you guys don't know, our boy Dre is coming to us live from the nation's capital in Washington D.C., which is. Let's see. Actually, I want to Google search this because I just want to know how far apart we are really fast. About so, three blocks <laughs> down the street. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I want three or four around there. It'll just take me like a few minutes to get there. Okay, so we are twenty nine hours, one thousand nine hundred and sixty two <laughs> miles away from our boy, uh, which is crazy to me. So, anyways, um, tell tell us a little bit about what it's like in DC. Um, I guess kind of like, I, are you born and raised there? Yeah, yeah. I'm born and raised, born and raised all my life. The only thing about DC that that president lives here. But um <laughs> other than that, you know, yeah, born and raised DC is cool. You know, I just would like to explore other places though on my journey while doing podcasting though. But uh yeah, born and raised in DC. Hey Misa, nice. do you know what the best part of DC is? What? They have legal marijuana there. <laughs> oh dude. Did you know hey. that? That's our place. Yeah. How, uh, let me see how much uh, an Uber would be <laughs> to get over there. Uh, uh, let us know. How, okay, so like, I don't know if this is a dumb question, dude, but have you been to the White House? Have you done like all the touristy shit over there? See, that's the that's the see that's the question that everybody who's not from DC have you been to the White House before? Like, no, I haven't been. I haven't oh, been I don't want to go to the goddamn White House. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even been to the monument. Like, it is so tall, and I don't want to go in there. Like, <laughs> no, I've been in other museums and stuff like that. See, everybody who's not from DC think DC is so fascinating, but here in DC, yeah, all right, okay, yeah, all right. See, I, I think, I, I, I think that's with like everybody, know, right? Like, yeah. when they talk about their hometown, you know, like. If I'm trying to compare El Paso to D.C., man, there's no comparing, dude. There's, you know, when I think of D.C., I, I think about uh, museums and, and the White House and, 
and everything's so beautiful and it's just lawyers walking around everywhere <laughs> and, and shit like that but but um here in El Paso man I don't even think we have lawyers out here <laughs> do we yeah we do just have kidding, lawyers out, out here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my brother Matt is actually a lawyer shout out to him by the way but yeah dude it's crazy the cultural differences between a place like El Paso and then a place like Washington DC which like you said, everybody knows because it's the capital, right? But yeah. I don't think people really think about like the life outside of the like the capital area of DC, like where normal people live and you know, like the way that shit goes down over there. Um so can you kind of explain like the culture, like the environment growing up in DC? Well, the environment here, you know, being you know, black a guy, it was you know, the struggles of course with that situation, it was just, you know, DC just have evolved over the time. But, you know, DC he has his, you know, own, you know, own ways of standing out. It got his bad, got his good. You know, it was a whole lot going on with the protesting that was going on here. Cause that was my first time I haven't seen nothing like that ever before. Like I think it was a UFC fight on and I turned to I was actually on Facebook, uh networking and someone says something about you know the rise and protesting and i was like oh my gosh like i never i never seen it, you know this in my homes i see it in baltimore when it went down with the freddie gray but you know not here in dc you know with live cameras and they breaking in and stuff and i'm like wow <laughs> and they go from you know doing that to protesting and like i was saying on my podcast a couple of weeks ago how you know the little boy who was just um, celebrating with his family on 4th of July. And, you know, he got that only, you know, only 11 years old, you know, so it's crazy. So DC got his, you know, his parts, you know, and it got it, it's good. So, yeah. It's like with every city until you live there, you're not really exposed to the true good and bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause we all have like an outsider look like people of course think their ways about El Paso, but it's like, we live here, we know it's different, you know? So I think that's with every space yeah. that people live. Yeah. To start off with, people think El Paso's in Mexico. <laughs> I know. Well, and, then, and then they look at us and they're like, it's definitely in Mexico. But you know you what? Know, like, and then they start saying like, yo, y'all's y'all's English are pretty good. How do you guys do it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. But you know what's crazy about that? Is living in New Mexico, when I would tell people I'm from New Mexico, they'd be like, because I grew up mostly in New Mexico, but I was born here in Texas. But it's funny because even people are like, New Mexico, like where, what? And it's like, dude, where are the 50 states? Like you're tripping, like you need to go back and you need to research and like we're here, you know? So it's like just the, um, I don't know, the rash, the, how do you say it? The Well, it just has a stigma to it, like yes, being from New stigma. Mexico. Well, I you think know there's I mean? stigma with every, like, there's always <laughs> stigmas to any city, any town, any state. You know? Hey, we got to ask. See, and, and if you're what? from El Paso and people ask you, hey, have you been here? They're all going to say yes. Hey. Everybody in El Paso has been everywhere. The only one place nobody wants to go is Dyer Street. If you <laughs> yeah. ever come down here, D, don't, don't go on Dyer Street, all right? Make sure to stay on the west side. Car. Hey, um, real fast, uh, Dre. <laughs> because of what Misa said that he thinks, um, most people might say that we're in Mexico. Do you like when you think of a Paso, do you know that it's like a border city or is that like something that that doesn't really even cross your mind? No, of course. I know it's a border city. I know it's a border city, though, uh, but I know a lot of uh, Mexicans and Latinos. You know, hey, you know what, man? It's, we're so close to to Mexico. I wake up sometimes thinking I'm in Mexico, you know, it, <laughs> Sometimes the line switches up a bit. I'll be driving in the freeway, and the next thing you know, my phone rings and it says "Welcome to Mexico." And and um, but I, it's it's funny because I've had some friends come in from out of town that have never been here, El Paso, and they'll drive through the freeway, and you can see Mexico. You can literally see all the houses in Mexico, Juarez, and stuff like that. And they're like, "Bro, I can't believe we're like right there." You know, like I was like, "Yeah, dude, that's my house right there. That's my mom's house up there." <laughs> Yeah, so so one thing that is really real dude like misa said and i don't know if you if um you can fully comprehend this but like in el paso when you're driving on i-10 which is our major freeway right um it literally gets so close to mexico um that your cell phone service will switch to like a mexican provider out of nowhere and then uh -huh. all of a sudden you'll get this like text message and it's like 
Bienvenidos, está en what is like see you that what is like Mexico. Yeah, you know what I mean? And what's weird is like you start speaking Spanish without like, <laughs> like without knowing. It's like Dude. como chingados, que chingados pasó, oye señora, no. <laughs> Dude, your radio switches to the nearest like Spanish station, and then all this Spanish music just comes out of no, your dude. radio. I your car know. starts smelling like tacos and shit. It's well, crazy, dude. Whenever you come, we got to take you or I take anybody who ever visits uh, along the border highway because that's what I take to get to UTEP. So it's a very humbling experience being a Mexican-American family and being a Mexican-American seeing Mexico. Because I have family that lives there, you know, like most of us have family and connections there. But it's like it kind of it's a humbling experience because you know that because you're here and I was born here. I have luxuries that people in Mexico won't have. So it's very beautiful because you see like the cultural, like just how embedded it is. You know what I mean? Like the livelihood of it. But it's crazy because when you're on the border, you like it's a fence, you know, like it, it blows your mind. And I don't think until you like see it that you're like, oh, shit. Not that you don't know it's a border city, but like it just it it carries more weight when you see it, just like anything, you know? Yeah, do that. Do you guys get annoyed when you know you get those calls from Mexico, or just used to it by now? Dude, we're so used to it by now. It's yeah. not even a fucking like. It's like, oh, hey, just a normal day. You know what I mean? So yeah, and like, um, I mean, a lot of people here that like not not myself. Like, I personally don't ever really go to Mexico, but a lot of the people that live in El Paso they do cross back and forth. So it is a very transient city in that way. And then also the fact that we have uh, Fort Bliss, uh, we do, it, it makes El Paso more transient in that way. But another thing, too, dude, is like everybody here is like Hispanic, like I told you on your podcast. Um, if you had to break down like the ratio over there in D.C. where you're living at, like how would you break down the ratio between African-Americans, Hispanics and then whites? And then if you have another like ethnicity group. Well, uh, by the White House. Yeah, it's white. Uh, yeah, well, go figure, huh? Where the money is, go <laughs> yeah, figure. and southeast, northeast, where sections here in DC. Um, most of um black and the majority of the Mexican Latinos live up on Georgia Avenue here in DC. Nice, they live up in on Georgia Avenue, and yeah, and um, throughout going to school here in DC, you know, I had a couple of Latino or Mexican, Latino or Mexican, Spanish, you know, friends, you know, but uh. It's majority of that I see are black, actually. Okay, cool. But, yeah. Hey, um, over there, the 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 Latinos are they are they all Mexican or like they Cuban or um, Puerto Rican or things like that, right? Uh, I don't want to say it's a little mix, but most of that I will probably see Spanish and Mexican. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's hey man, but how how would people even know that? Like, you go around and ask people. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I can like, dude, for sure, I can tell like. Um, like somebody who's speaking like a Mexican dialogue of Spanish compared to somebody who's speaking like a, a Cuban or a Puerto Rican um, dialogue. There's a big difference to me and I can hear it. So I was just wondering if like you if you were able to distinguish in that way. And I also feel like like I have well, like my family, they I mean, I'm the only one that primarily speaks English, like straight up. Like when Chris and I got together, he's like, oh, like you're Mexican, Mexican, you know, you can you can. <laughs> You know, and he's like, damn, <laughs> God bless. You can, you, but you can hear sure. like you can tell a difference. Like, you know what I mean? Like my grandma, my grandpa, the Spanish they speak isn't always neck and neck with some of the people that just go back and forth to Mexico who don't live there. But then I can also sense when it changes, depending on who they're talking to in terms of like business and or medical stuff, because I have an aunt who works for a medical company and she speaks Spanish like all the time. You know what I mean? But. I also think it's one of those things that when I have my family come over from Mexico and I'm talking like Mexico City and stuff, you can it's a different it's a different Spanish. It it, it just it is what it is. You know, there's different dialects. Man, the Spanish from like deep down Mexico is like so fast, dude. Dude, it's if like you hear my aunt down. and my cousin, that's what I'm saying. Like I have a cousin and an aunt who visit regularly because they're that close to my family that it's like I have to like really focused and even then i still can't get with it you know like it dude they sound like that rapper twister <laughs> like when they talk dude like it's crazy yeah. like what enchilada 
What? <laughs> All right, dude. So let's uh, let's keep this podcast moving. Um, we're gonna take a break in a little bit, but real fast, um, what I wanted to give our boy Dre um, some time to do is to shout out his podcast. Uh, kind of give it a plug. Let everybody know where they can find it when you post. Um, go ahead and and tell our audience about that. Every new videos come out every Tuesday on my YouTube channel. That's the Eleven Thirty Podcast. You can find me on YouTube. Um, very entertaining stuff, very fun stuff. So catch me, and uh, you can uh, catch me at the eleven thirty podcast, pro wrestling talk, pro wrestling every Thursday wherever you find your podcasts. Hey, and real quick, man, that that last episode you you posted yesterday, um, entanglement, that that episode is a good episode, man. You guys need to go check it out. Uh, our boy Chris was on there. Um, some good topics um, ranging from. Uh, from uh oh man, I totally forgot his name. What was the first top? Kanye West, dude. Oh man, dude. Yes. Kanye West. And then we talked. Um, oh, actually, uh, real quick, man. Uh, change the subject just real, real, real quick. Now that we're talking about DC, um, you're a you're a Raiders fan, right? Red Big Raiders fan. Redskins, bro. Red, Redskins fan. <laughs> how do you? F- <laughs> well, I was gonna ask, how do you feel about that whole name change, man? After 85 years of having that change from I'm a, DC. I'm- I'm a I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan, and I don't care about them. Not <laughs> <laughs> one bit. I don't care. Uh, what a savage! I love it. I was, telling, I was telling Chris in the first interview, like I don't care. Like the Redskins, they they could be winning a game. It could be thirty to three, and uh, whoever they playing will come back and win the game, thirty six to thirty, and it would just be like what. Y'all can't keep the whole score. Hey man, they're 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 like the the Falcon teams, man. But that's like every game for them. Yeah. You know, but hey, Misa, I want to congratulate you on dropping that question straight into the dirt right there. <laughs> no, dude, you're you're a I Raiders fan, right? You're, you're Raiders, what? right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, hey man, it's cool, man. I'm a Chargers fan. I don't know if you've ever heard of that team, but there's there's a team out there called the Chargers. I'm a Chargers fan. There's about I think there's like 14 fans now. Um, yeah. I've been a I've been a fan since like 2005 with LT. So um, so yeah, man. I like I like the Ravens, you know. Yeah, but, they are doing good. I'm mad they got kicked out the playoffs though. But I, yeah, I, but like you said, man, I don't care, man. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's all dude. fuck Washington Redskins, bro. Who's like who who even <laughs> who even likes them? All right, guys. So yeah, this is episode 35 with our boy. Uh, Dre, a.k.a. Dre on Wills, host of the 1130 podcast. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. And then when we come back, we're going to talk. Um, we're going to talk to our boy Dre about food. We're going to get to know him here. Mm. We're going to see if he can mm. name five Mexican dishes. Uh, we're also going to do funniest scene from the Internet today. And we're also going to do five random questions, which, you know, we have to do with almost every guest that we bring on here. Um, so we're going to get into that, guys. So stick around. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Remember, guys, you listening to Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast, episode number 35. Uh, make sure to subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and leave a rate and review on Apple Podcasts, guys. Please, please, please. We really do appreciate it. But with all that being said, we will take a break, and we will be right back. All right, guys, we are back from our break. This is episode number 35, Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast uh, featuring our boy Dre, a.k.a. Dre on Wills. We just took a quick little break, so now we're going to get back into it, guys. Um, Dre, I just wanted to ask you real fast, um, what are your thoughts on the podcast so far? How are you feeling? Um, My thoughts on the podcast, man. I'm having fun. It's going good. I feel good. I feel Um, good. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah baby yeah <laughs> that, she's all dancing over here. I love it. okay that's what's up guys uh, so, uh, I hey just, real quick dude real quick bro i just i just remembered it's your birthday in two weeks okay hold on two let me, weeks before we talk dude's gonna, dude's gonna be 39 years old no not 39 <laughs> okay before we address my birthday situation let me just uh let me just say something real fast um <laughs> Uh, Misa, I think this is the first birthday that like I've ever known that we're gonna like actually know each other on my birthday for <laughs> once in our dude, life. <laughs> if actually, dude, I was thinking about that. Me and my wife were talking about it. Man, if people were to know how our relationship was 
before this podcast like there was no relationship yeah, really. Dude. i mean not even not even back in middle school you know last time i had seen you it was just like oh hey what's up chris and he'd be like yo what's up me so you cool as fuck and it's like yeah you're cool too and then we just walk away and that's it you know next day we see each other hey yo chris you're cool as fuck chris would be like me so you're cool as fuck and then that's it we'll walk our own ways and shit <laughs> but um yeah dude uh people don't don't know how because i i get People like, man, how long have you guys been friends for? How long have you guys been doing this? I was like, man, I just met the guy, bro. <laughs> I just met the dude. I literally just pretty so much met the let's, guy. Let's, All I knew about Chris is that his name was Chris, and that's it. Let's uh, <laughs> let's tell Dre a little bit of a backstory be, because I'm sure he's curious to know kind of like how our relationship came to be. But essentially, Dre, um, me and this guy went to like, I think not not even elementary school, just middle school nah, together. Just middle school, yeah and back in the day right like we just knew each other in middle school and then we went to high school he knew a lot of the same people i know and we went uh, to two different high schools he went yeah we went to two high different, different high schools we didn't even go to the same high school so we never like hung out like ever like on a personal level and then uh i started a podcast right conversing with chris and i don't like i've had misa on facebook forever and like he knows a lot of the same people i know so he's always been around and then one day we recorded an episode and then after that, we were like, fuck it, dude, let's start a podcast together. And we just like added him on to this one. And that's literally how I went, dude. And ever since then, we like talk every single day. Like <laughs> we're like best yeah. friends now. He's like my fucking <laughs> my girlfriend. My like, what? Are you going to move in with him now and shit? Like, <laughs> like can I? <laughs> like <laughs> The other day I told him that. I was like, what, you talking to your girlfriend, Misa? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I am. I was like, damn, like. Ah, okay, okay. Now the the thing is, is it's just how this podcast has brought us all together. And I was telling Chris yesterday as well, man, because our podcast involves a guest, you know, almost every week. Um, it, it's people that um, I haven't seen in years, or people that you know that Chris knows that I don't. So with this podcast, I get to meet uh, and, and and get connected with with old friends and make new friends, and at the same time, like get to know Chris and Lena. Um, <laughs> But it's mostly always podcasts, you know. Um, it's not a day that goes by that Chris doesn't call me. He's like, "Yo, I got this idea for this for this segment for our podcast." And, what, you know, what, and, what made you want to do podcasts, uh, knowing that Chris was doing it and uh, you joined the Twitter? You know what? Um, I, I've always liked entertaining people. I I always kind of grew up wanting to be a comedian. So I had heard uh, I had heard the episode with our boy Joe that Chris had done with him. So all I did is I liked I liked the 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 post on Facebook and I and I just sent a comment saying uh, hey if you ever need a guest let me know and a few days later he he called me up and we we set up a date and um, I showed up and it was like uh, like me and Chris like had just seen each other the day before or something and that podcast ended up being really good um, the next day he called me saying like yo this episode is fucking sick, bro. I fucking love you, man. I need you on my podcast. I can't go on without you. I need you. Be my I partner. want you. Oh, Misa. Oh, Misa. <laughs> and then, you know, and I, I enjoyed myself too, you know, like um, being on that podcast. And, and I was like, you know what, man, let's do it. And and for me, there was there's always been like a one love, you know, growing up was football. And in high school, I got hurt. So I hadn't really gotten into something like a hobby that I really, really enjoyed until Chris came along with his podcast. And, um, and I tell Chris all the time and it's, it's, it's somewhat of a, of a life changer for sure. But, um, yeah. it's cool. I love it, man. He's like, Hey man, come be on my podcast, bro. I can't do it without you. And, and, uh, and I was like, all right, Chris, you know, let's do it. And he said he'll pay me, but I haven't seen a check still. So <laughs> <laughs> it's good that you fell in love with doing a podcast. And then you said you were playing sports and, uh, a lot of sports players, athletes only have that one mind goal, just, you know, I want to play football and, you know, I want to go to college. I want to make it to the NFL. And then, yeah, man, I, I, I'm over here trying to get a motherfucking scholarship, but <laughs> shit happens. Yeah, when everything, you know, goes down, nobody knows what to do. But, uh, hey, that's what's up, man. Ooh. The crazy thing is, too, is I didn't know that these guys knew each other. Like, I met Misa separately from Chris by working at the mall and then one day jamie was like yo yeah misa knows chris and i'm like what really so then i figured out they knew each other and then when he's like hey misa's gonna come over i'm like misa like misa misa and he's like yeah i'm yeah. like 
Yeah, the, the only Misa that I know in El Paso. I mean, I don't know yeah. anybody else yeah. by that name. But anyway, and it was, and it was yeah, it, it was such a good episode. I think it's still like our mostly our most played episode yeah. till now. No, it, um, it is. It's our most played episode for sure. Still, um, yeah, still to this day. And um, yeah, it's it's really cool, dude. Because yeah, like I was telling you, Dre, like are we there? Like, well, how Misa said there was no relationship before this, and it's kind of crazy now, like how it's developed to this point, but. Even like it could have happened the same like with me and you like the way we just hit it off like on a podcast thing group on Facebook like never even knew each other never like really like talked to each other and then we just started messaging and then boom dude you know what I mean we're cranking out episodes of podcasts now just like that so yeah. it's really cool man shout out to Dre for that shout out to Misa for joining me on my podcast because I was a lonely podcaster in a <laughs> sea full of podcasts oh. trying to find my way. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah shout out to you guys man for sure um and like i said um one thing that i really enjoy about the podcast and like misa said was meeting people and if you would have told me six months ago i'd be sitting here interviewing somebody from washington dc uh i would have not believed you so shout out to that man i wouldn't have believed it myself you couldn't <laughs> Yeah, I'll be sitting right here having a Zoom. Yeah, and you didn't even know what El Paso was. Nobody knows where El Paso is. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All I know now, and I know it's 29 hours away, right? <laughs> and we're trying to put ourselves on the map, literally, man, because I've seen several maps with Auto Paso on there. That's going to be a long Uber. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be an expensive ass Uber for sure. You better tip that driver really well, man. That's a long ass trip. Hey, can you, can you see how long it'll take if we walk? Um, I can try. Yeah, let me see. Let me Environmental see. friendly. Okay, so let me see. Save emissions. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Can you guys guess how oh. many hours it would take to walk from here to DC? Just, just It'd blindly be like guess. Three days, no? Like three days. Okay. One hundred thousand hours. Oh, let me One hundred thousand hours. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, did you really say three days to walk over there? Yeah, yeah. Do you know how far you can walk in one day? You can't walk that far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three weeks, bro. Sorry. Okay, so Lena did the math. It would take us 648 hours to walk from El Paso to D.C., which comes out to how many days? It comes out to 27 days. <laughs> 27 days. 20 Four weeks, dude? That oh, my God. Lisa said three Jesus. days. <laughs> Three days to get over this Franklin Mountains, probably. God, Jesus. You're moving at Sonic speed if you want to get this. <laughs> yeah, you got to be running like Sonic the Hedgehog, bro, trying to get all those coins and shit. And then mm -hmm. having tails like right behind you, just like picking up the pace. You know what I mean? Dude, I could so, just, it's just all this makes me think of back then when it was just like on a horse. You know, like, <laughs> just like going yo, up. I'm going to the grocery store. I'll be back in three days, bro. Bro, uh, <laughs> Google should should definitely give you the option to select your modus travel as a horseback. And then that way you can <laughs> hey, bring that back. Bring yeah. that back, bro. Be like, damn, if I wanted him to ride my horse from here to New York, it would take me like 302 <laughs> days. I'm oh, going to take my horse to the hotel <laughs> road. Please, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shit's hilarious. Okay, so let's keep this shit rolling, guys. Um, well, no, I want to talk about birthdays because... Oh, yeah, we forgot what, about my birthday, well, that's actually. What that's, that's what, what we were getting ask into. You. Are, okay, I need an honest answer straight up. I, I, my feelings won't be hurt. Do you want to drive by or not? Nah? Um, no, I, oh I do not God, condone drive-bys in any form or fashion, oh, whether they be, oh, it's just, dude, it's just thinking about it makes me cringe, dude. whether it be a drive-by birthday, a drive-by shooting, a drive-by, <laughs> like any other type of drive-by. I'm just not a drive-by type of guy. It's just, 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 you're yeah. just a drive-through type of guy. Drive-through only baby. Look at me. <laughs> Like the times, the times that everything is going on right now, everybody. Like I was so clueless just for a moment when you guys would drive by a birthday. Like, what are they talking like? So everybody's getting released from their jobs and having a drive by, um, getting released and having weddings, and drive bys, and everything. I'm like, wow, man, this has got to be a very interesting time right now. Yeah, it's like dude. they had like a like a strip club, like a drive by strip club up in Ohio or <laughs> yeah. something. Might as well just do parades. Just have people distance, spread out, and just have a course set out and then people will just parade and Imagine like a stripper parade just rolling through like downtown DC. I'm super down. Like I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure people would be with it, bro, for sure. I'm all show me what I need to do. 
Teach me. Yeah, you could only throw coins though, because you know the, the bills would be flying around and shit. I'll wear gloves and it, I'll make sure they're clean for them. You know. You don't make it rain. You make it hail on them. <laughs> or, I'll just God send them in, in in uh like Ziploc bags, you know, to make sure they're safe. <laughs> Dude, I'm broke though, dude. I'd be throwing, I'll, I'd be giving them coupons or something like. God bless my me. business card. <laughs> All right, Dre. So my birthday is coming up, July 28th. When is your birthday? 11:30. November 3rd. Oh no, yeah, God November bless. 3rd. We already talked about this. No, we talked about this early. The 11:30 podcast. That's his birthday. Totally went over my head. My bad on that one. I dropped the ball. Uh, Misa's birthday is in November, right? No, November 1st. That's no. right. That's right. Lena's hey, October 1st. So. What year were you born, Misa? 1990. Oh, oh, yeah. So you're older than me. So does anybody like ever remember, like, can can you say like, oh, my best birthday was this year? Does Can you guys like pinpoint a birthday that was your best? I don't know if I can point pinpoint my best birthday. I had a couple of them, though. I remember when I was little, I had a Power Ranger birthday party. Oh, so nice. nice. The White Ranger was my favorite, so you know I had to have him there. So yeah, that, was, yeah. that was cool. Um, my eleventh, my eleventh year old birthday party. My mom threw a surprise birthday party and scared the hell out of me because I was like, "Where all the people come from?" And how did, my, how did my best friends wind up on the couch in my living room? So I was just like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I don't know if I can pinpoint a favorite one. But, um, hey. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't. I can't really remember like a, like a birthday standing out or anything. I can remember like a like a cool birthday party, but not like anything like that was super like oh shit, bro! Like best birthday ever. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, this, hey, do you know what a? <laughs> let me ask Dre this. I don't know if he's gonna know this. Do you know what a piñata is? Piñata. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So <laughs> what it is is a piñata is like a. It's like a, like a, a plastic, not plastic. It's made out of a like, piñata. It's a, yeah, it's yeah. a piñata. It's it's made out of like paper mache and it's Very crafted dumb. into like Spider Man or Wonder whatever Woman, character you whatever, want. Yeah, and then yeah, they fill yeah, it. You with, just beat the shit out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you fill yeah, it with yeah. candy and then the kids go up to it and smash it and you know try not to hit anybody else and then the drunk uncles on the roof because that's always what makes sense to put the drunk guy on the roof. Yeah. And he's swinging yeah. the, the pinata around and he's hitting all the kids because he doesn't give a fuck <laughs> and he's trying to make it hard for him. But you know what I'm talking hey, about, right? Dude, you know what's crazy is like uh, speaking of pinatas, there's a big difference when you buy a pinata um, from like a legit like Mexican candy place than like Walmart. Like these these Mexican places, dude, they, they make them to last, man. I don't know if they put <laughs> cement in those bitches, dude. Like you fill them up with candy and I didn't. it takes the adults to get in. Yeah. And like say, hold my beer. Let me get this shit yeah, broken. The, the drunk they, adults eventually have to step in and break it open. So yeah, dude, on dude. the on the topic of uh, Mexican tradition type or type of, of subjects, um, we wanted to ask Dre if he can name uh, his five top favorite Mexican dishes or foods. Um, I can name one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope that's not you know a bad thing, but um, not at all. Like I was Earlier, you know, Taco Tuesday is my favorite day. Taco Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what is your go to taco on a Tuesday? <laughs> uh, a beef taco with some cheese on it mm. and some sour cream on it and, mm. and, and, a, and a yummy yum. And that's good. <laughs> hey, man, you'd, you'd, you'd fit in perfect here in El Paso, dude. Oh, man. I know I would. I know I would. That's why I said I got to come down there when we do an episode. I'm telling you, there's a taco stand in every corner, man. No, no joke. Yeah, there's That's an up. unlimited supply of tacos. You will never not have tacos. Okay, here. so what we're going to do is we're going to put on the board five Mexican dishes, right? Dre named one. I'm going to go ahead and throw him four more, and I'm going to see if he knows what they are. Okay, number one or number two. No, 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 I got one. Hold on, hold on. Number two. Do you know what a quesadilla is? A quesadilla? A quesadilla. Yeah, I know what it is. Okay, cool. All right. so, so he's got number two. Okay. I got a little nervous there because he was thinking about it. <laughs> he was thinking about it. I took his time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number three. Um, do you know what enchiladas are? Enchilada. I know what it is, but I haven't had it. 
Okay. Oh, you've never had an enchilada, bro? Oh. Oh, man. Hey, dude. We got you. If you ever come to El Paso, we're going to spoil you with the finest Mexican cuisine you've ever seen. I guarantee that. Okay. Uh, number. <laughs> like, Bre- like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We can literally give you for like days let's, on let's, end. let's make a buffet. <laughs> it's a yeah, buffet. Um, <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Number four, Misa, can you give him another Mexican dish that you think? Yes, you know? dude. Uh, uh, maybe a tamale. No, that's a negative. <laughs> he's, he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, we're gonna have to end this podcast, guys. Uh, thanks uh, a lot for listening, everybody. Final thoughts. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Lena, give no. Him- it's all right. It's all right. You it's know okay, that's man. what we're here for. We're here to teach him. Yeah, we're you here. You know, so when he comes down, I'll send journey. you some recipes, man. You know they've been in my family for centuries, so <laughs> you won't get it wrong. Okay, Lena, oh, do you have the fifth Mexican dish? To ask our boy Dre about flautas. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't understand understand it. <laughs> flautas. A flauta. No, I haven't. No, oh, what? A taquito. It's oh, essentially yeah. just. Oh, it's a taquito. Oh, it's, it's a like, big taquito or bigger, oh, like better a, taquito. Put a tortilla down, but it's supposed to be corn. You put some stuff in it. You could put potatoes. You could put meat. You could put chip. You name it. You roll that puppy up, and then you fry it. You get a real beans, crispy. beans, potatoes, tomatoes, all <laughs> you name it. All of my them. Fiance, my fiance hates it because she thinks I'm 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 picky and stuff like that with food. But if she was sitting right here, she probably would know every single thing you guys just named. Hey, because she's deaf. Okay, <laughs> Let, let's see how. What big, about some tripitas? Some nah, intestines. Tripitas. <laughs> He's not gonna know <laughs> what tripitas are, bro. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> I barely found out. I didn't, I, yeah, I, mean, I was about to say, oh man. I've been eating them all my life. I didn't oh, even wait. know what they came from. No, hold on, hold on. Uh, Mesa. Menudo. <laughs> Mesa, no, 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 Mesa, Mesa, you're like, uh, do you know what lengua is? <laughs> Dude, no. lengua is disgusting. It's cow's ton, by the way, just so you know. That's how we're doing it down here. But anyways. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, wait, I got hold a good on, question. Okay, go. Everyone has to say the grossest thing they've ever eaten. I got a good one. Uh, right off the bat, sushi number one. Wow, Misa. I'm gonna have to say that cocktail I drank the other day. <laughs> okay, fair. Dre, what's the worst thing you've ever eaten? I guess something I I guess I don't like. I guess. <laughs> like what? I don't want to. Well, I'm just thinking. He's all uh, shit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for mine? Misa, all right. Misa already said hers or yours. Lena, what was yours? Cow balls. Cow balls, wow. You cut them off, you flip them, you put them on the thing, get crispy. Yeah, it's fucking gross. Bro, this I mean, girl is a savage. No, whenever you brand, that's part of it. That's, that's, why, that's why Chris likes her. Okay. Oh, Cow my balls. lord. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would make sense. I've had balls before. I get that. But what I'm trying to say. You're digging yourself like, in Yo, Did you, you see how here. Lena swallowed <laughs> that egg? Yo. I didn't eat them. Like, I... I no. Bro, she keeps digging herself into a hole. She's like, I've had balls before. I've had plenty of balls. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> At okay. the bottomless pit. So um, if we had to ask you, uh, Dre, to name your five favorite foods of any kind, uh, what would they be? Bro, well, to start off, um, as you can see, I'm a little chubby, so I'm going to say a cheeseburger. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm. Love, love me a cheeseburger any day of the week. Do you put, um, a, do you put bacon on that cheeseburger? I just had a bacon cheeseburger yesterday. <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> now I know what I want to eat for dinner. Okay. I said, oh, I'm going to release a new episode. I'm going to eat a bacon cheeseburger today. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, of course, French fries, but I love McDonald's French fries. Hell yeah. They are delicious. delicious. I feel um, like- tacos. I like tacos. Okay. Tacos, like tacos makes the cut. Okay. Mm, spaghetti. Hey. Ooh, okay. We're, 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 go- we're diving into the Italian side here. I like it. Um, in pizza, I guess. Pizza? He's like a uh, default. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yes. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yes. Favorite uh, toppings on a pizza? If you can do unlimited toppings, what would you go with? Of course. I don't Cheeseburger. Think, I don't think cheese. <laughs> I don't think cheese count pepperoni. Okay. Uh, uh, sauces. Ew. Yeah, that's the that, them pepperoni and sauces is is where's that? I don't yeah. think I. The supreme pizza is not my thing. Nope. No, hell no. Do you like bacon on your pizza? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what about pineapple? 
No. My, okay, you know thank, what I'm saying? Are you ser- thank yeah. God. You can come back on this podcast whenever uh, you want. Literally whenever you want. If you want to come back on tomorrow, we'll do all this shit again. We can do that because okay. you're my no. type of guy. We'll, okay. we'll talk about this later, you and I. Maybe I can turn you to the dark okay, side. Okay, so see. those were the top five foods with our boy Dre. Uh, we're going to keep this podcast moving, guys. Um, like we like to do with most of our guests, we like to do our top or our five random questions. But before we get into that, we also like to do our funniest thing from the internet today. And um, who wants to start us off on that, guys? Who wants to volunteer and uh, take the rings with uh, the funniest thing from the internet today? Yeah, um, I have one ready, man. I just don't know where it went. This, <laughs> this technology is driving me crazy, man. Okay, well, I got mine ready if you want me to go. Or Lena, do you have yours? I was born. Okay, Lena, how about you start us off with this one? It says, 18-year-olds, can I please have a cigarette or a beer? U.S. government. Best I can do is war. (laughs) Straight up, bro. Yeah, turning 18 doesn't even mean shit anymore, dude. You can't can't buy cigarettes. Um, You can get into, I guess, R-rated movies now, but, you know, you're still three years away from the drinking age. Oh, so you can, like, get porn Right. Yeah, you can buy porn and stuff, so that's cool, I guess. Misa, are you ready, or do you want me to go with mine? No, go ahead and go with yours. Okay, so we've all, um, obviously have heard about the uh, entanglement and, you know, what's going on with our boy Will Smith. So, this, and we have all seen that classic photo of him where he's, uh, you know, sitting there and he's got that look in his face, that look of despair, the look of a broken man, of a broken heart, of somebody who's been ravaged and you know just been stepped on and it says now this is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down <laughs> Ay, and i don't know if you guys know that but it's from the fresh fresh prince of bel yeah, yeah, air will smith it. was in there you know I, I don't know just if i have to explain the joke to you guys dre. so dre you got one <laughs> <laughs> he laughing. starts laughing <laughs> Well, I don't know if this may be funny or not, but the end result is kind of funny. Like Chris said, I do uh, WTF moments on my podcast, and uh, this is clearly a WTF moment. It came out of Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Shout Um, out Brooklyn. Yeah, shout out Brooklyn. July 14th in Brooklyn. Actually, you know what? Actually, I'm sorry. It wasn't in Brooklyn, New York, but it was in Brooklyn, Illinois. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's a Brooklyn in Illinois? There's a Brooklyn. Yeah, I know, there. right? It's crazy. <laughs> hey, who knew? Nice uh, to know. It was a confrontation. A family got into it. A bunch of women fighting and everything. And, of course, you know, the man mm-hmm. wants to protect his his woman, his, his girl. So what he does, he comes in and then he step in and intervene and he kicks someone, but that someone has to be a toddler. Oh, and he is toddler. The toddler, if it if he was going for a field goal, I think he made it. <laughs> Dude, hold on, Dre. Let me. Um, uh, my first question is, what hold, the hold hell on. is a toddler doing in the middle of Dude. a fight? Like, yo, nobody's kicking my mama's ass. And then she's jumping Look, in and shit. Hey, Misa, let me explain. Because, dude, honestly, Dre. <laughs> Dre, literally, we we literally just saw this. Like, I saw that video right before the podcast started. So wow. it starts. There's like two girls beating up this one girl, right? But she's yeah. like outside of her house. So I think they caught her and her and her daughter outside, which she's little. She's a toddler. She's small. And the guy flies into the scene, jumps and like drop kicks the little kid, bro. Like it's, that shit is crazy, dude. I was like, what the fuck? That's definitely a what the fuck moment of the day. For hey, sure. nowadays, man, nobody's God off bless. Limits, dude. Yeah, dude. Anybody can get it. Anybody. Yeah. A kid, old yeah, man, TV. old woman. Like. Everybody, Everyone for themselves. Dude. Everyone's fair game, dude. So, okay, Misa, <laughs> what's your funniest thing from the internet today? God bless. <laughs> that, that field goal was good. <laughs> I love it, dude. <laughs> it's good. Nice. Three points. Game winner. <laughs> God bless. Uh, that, got, that, that one got me good. Um, yeah, I, I saw this um, this post that some some girl had posted, and she said, um, "Do men still open open car doors?" And then uh, some guy put, how else am I going to get in that motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, well, you want me to crawl through the goddamn window or what? Nah, 
All right, guys. So those were our funniest things from the internet today. Um, we're going to get ready to wrap up this podcast. We're going to do uh, what we usually do at the end of it and do uh, some five random questions. Are you guys ready? Dre, are you ready? Yes. Misa, are you ready? I'm ready. He's ready as can be. Yeah. Okay. So, Lena, are you ready? Ready. Okay, everybody's ready. Question number one, Dre. And I hope you're ready for these, man, because like I said, I don't bring no soft questions. I don't come here to play games. Mm -hmm. I come here to find out more about you and let our audience know more about you, okay? (laughs) So, what is a holiday that does not exist that you would create? Like, if you had to create your own holiday, what would that holiday be? Oh, okay, cool. Um, Wheelchair day. (laughs) <laughs> okay. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What day would that be? It'll be on November thirtieth. Hey, yeah. hey, there you go. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the answer I wanted. Okay, guys. So now November thirtieth is National. What would you say? Wheelchair Day is that the proper way to reference it? Yeah. Yeah. National Wheelchair Day. You know, whatever you want to call it. You use crutches. National Crutches Day. Hey. You know, if you. <laughs> What, what would be a tradition thing to do for to celebrate that day? Um, just help everybody out, you know, whoever in the wheelchair. You know, there's people out here will will open the door for you and look at you and just keep it rolling. Hey. <laughs> so that day would just be full of courtesy and kindness and people just, you know, doing the things they should normal do normally do as human beings. And but I'm not, I'm not speaking for everybody that in a wheelchair because there's a lot of people out there are, who are rude, who are very rude. So yeah. Hey. That's what I'm just saying. Hey, that's a good one, man. I like it. Okay. Question cool. number two. Uh, standard question I like to ask on this podcast. Uh, what is your favorite beer? Well, um, I just started drinking beer for real. For real. I was kind of like a liquor guy, so I kind of like, you know, just fell back. So, like I just showed you guys, the Natty Daddy, I've just been drinking that. You know, Sh- hey, hold on. Show Misa what the Natty Daddy looks like if you can. Look at this, Misa. It's called Natty Daddy, bro. What? What? <laughs> right? I <clears throat> never what? <laughs> Dude, what <when> Maddie did? <laughs> one of the times, it. one of the times we were doing an interview, and and he's like, "I'm drinking on a Natty Daddy." I literally thought he was fucking pulling my my balls and just kidding with me, like you know what I mean? <laughs> but no, that he he flashes that blue can and it says Natty Daddy. I was like, bro, I've never seen that shit ever before. Um, what was your favorite liquor then? Um, when you were on, when you were sipping the hard stuff, vodka, vodka what? straight. Yeah, I can't. vodka. I can't. Or, or rum. I like the vodka, rum. Um, just about you know anything. I like the brown liquor at one point. And then okay. I, Let me ask like, you. Oh. How do you feel about tequila? Oh boy. Uh, tequila is tequila is my lady. Oh, okay. Nice. You dance with the devil, so do I. I yeah, like I love we it. We love her. Yeah. Nah, dude. Every time I take tequila, man, I wake up with the black guy, money missing. That bitch <laughs> does me dirty. Every black guy, time. money missing, no pants on, phone lost, and wallet stolen. At a gas station. <laughs> and and somehow ended up in Mexico. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's, that's when you know you got to kick back the liquor when you start waking up trying to figure yeah, out dude. Yeah. where your pants go. that's why i stick to budweiser because budweiser never does that to me never takes advantage of me budweiser budweiser takes care of me so you know what i mean in a whole hangover movie (laughs) hey misa's whole life is a hangover movie it's been that way for a long time so question three man and this is a very uh serious question so um pay attention if you will (laughs) Um, What's your credit card number? <laughs> yeah, what is your social security social? number, please? And the last four of or and your PIN number that you regularly use on your credit or debit card. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, now number three, serious or yeah, serious question. Um, Dre, I want to know if you would slap my grandma in the face for one million dollars. And let me let me uh, just set the scene here. Um, it's me, you, and my grandma. We're all hanging out together. There's a duffel bag with one million dollars cold hard cash with your name on it. As long as you slap my grandma, are you slapping my grandma, Dre? I would say sure. I bought that bag. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, throw grandma a couple hundred grand. Sorry for that, grandma. 
Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, sorry, Grandma, but uh, me and Chris about to go do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to make that And we about to cash out, too. <laughs> <laughs> we got that bag, for sure. Okay, hell yeah. You see? Look, dude, that's a good answer. Most of the time, everyone's like... Nah, man. But you know what? Yeah, they try to be like, not nah, your grandma, man. Yeah, no. but no. Hey, you know what? Like we said earlier, or a few seconds ago, anyone can get it. Anyone, grandmas, yeah. grandpas, kids, for anybody. A <laughs> hey, grandma would slap me for not taking the one million dollars. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, so true, man. Okay, so my grandma taught me better. <laughs> That's what they all say, but a lot of grandmas didn't really teach us much, apparently, because look at how the world is. Anyway, uh, question number... My grandma taught me how to throw a chancla. <laughs> Direct target. No, that, it. dude, that is taught, or that's not even taught, that's, like, distilled in your DNA if you're, like, a Mexican Latino, you know, chancla throwing. <laughs> See, Misa just threw a chancla right there. Okay, she question almost... number four. Uh, what is your favorite type of cheese? American cheese. American cheese? That's oh, right! Yes, uh, are you America, America. <laughs> yeah, uh, American cheese. I'm gonna say uh, I like provolone cheese. I like you know I like them all. Hey, do you oh, pepper good. jack cheese? Do you like pepper, pepper jack, jack? dude? Pepper jack's the way to go, bro. I'm I'm on board with pepper jack. Mm -hmm. I fuck with Munster. Munster cheese is fire too. If you have fresco, mm. they don't sell that all over there. Mm. No. Hey, Dre, do you know what Munster cheese is? No, they don't sell that one yeah. here. Yeah, that's a Mexican cheese. If you ever run across a Munster cheese, go ahead and pick up the block. You're going to need the whole thing. Make yourself <laughs> make yourself some good <laughs> quesadillas, bro. <laughs> okay. Question number five, Dre. In, um, if you had to describe the internet in one sentence, what would that sentence be? The internet is amazing. <laughs> hey, there you go. That's a solid answer. Dude, I was thinking about um, how you would explain the internet to somebody that's never been on Earth before. So, mm -hmm. like, if they showed up in a random spaceship and they walked up to you at your crib and was, was like, hey, dude, what's up? Like, how would you explain, like, what the internet, to, the, to like, is? You know what I mean? I feel like you'd say, yeah. like, it's a network that connects everyone everywhere. <laughs> I should say it's, like, a, the whole world. It's a whole yeah, world. Yeah, exactly. It's the world. You want to meet somebody from uh, Washington D.C. and do a podcast with them? Go ahead and get on the internet, internet. then. Yeah. <laughs> you or know I mean? you want to meet the love of your life? Internet. Get on the internet. His whole sister, like it's yep. amazing. My sister met her boyfriend in an AOL AIM husband chat. Now. Well, her husband in an AIM chat room back in the day. So shout out to that. Um, anyways, uh, I got another question, and then Lena's got a bonus question, and then we'll wrap this up. But this question came from me. Or it came to me because of our boy Chris Melina, the governor. Um, we were texting, and um, he was telling me about his favorite boy bands. Ooh. So <laughs> uh, I got a question for you, Dre. If you had to ch uh, choose one of these boy bands, would it be NSYNC, 98 Degrees, or the Backstreet Boys? NSYNC. Oh, that was easy, huh? Hey, JT, can't go wrong, yeah. right? Mm. Can't go wrong with JT. Mm -mm. Yeah, NSYNC. Hell yeah! What's your favorite mm. NSYNC song? Can you can you do that? I want it <laughs> that way. Tell Can me why. <laughs> okay. I know uh, guys, I know guys said uh, uh, then I had uh, a bonus question. I want to ask you five random. I want to ask you guys five random questions. Oh, All right. Oh, That's the first. Okay. Let's okay. do it. Okay. All right. You ready? It goes out to whoever want to answer it. Um, what's your favorite song to jam to in the shower or, Ooh. or playlist? Ooh. 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 Misa, go ahead and answer this. Um, it had to be something kind of funky, like, like James Brown. Um, I, I listened to the Funkadelic, um, something I could pretend to dance in the shower. Um, I get hurt a lot in there because of that, but, um, <laughs> But usually something like like James Brown, man, you know. I would say my go to my uh my go to shower song would probably be something like um, I would say like um Alan Jackson, like it's five o'clock somewhere. So that way I know once I'm out of the shower, it's five o'clock and we can start <laughs> drinking beer. You know what I mean? Like that's the yeah, best way is. I can go about my day. 
that that or like usher man i i, oh. I tried to like dude like, have you make heard? like those 90s music videos in the shower yeah you know, like check this after out guys. A heartbreak or something i'm gonna recommend something that everybody does go and put on let it burn by usher oh, and take God. a shower a hot shower and record yourself singing like along dude <laughs> epic you'll feel like you're dancing in the ring you know what i mean that's my song it's um, come back to me to say this it's coming from my heart it's been a long time coming we'd have been better apart i really want to work things out i didn't yeah, think, right. you do that Usher, think you do that song i didn't think you do that song of course he did okay lena favorite sour shower song real fast if you have one if not we can move on i'm thinking something like time bomb iration yeah you know, iration like some reggae shit. Yeah, yeah like for real. reggae like country i can listen to for hours but reggae is just i can put it in every song you just feel it you feel it in your soul you know all right come yeah, on hit us with the next question you want to feel good next in the one. shower next one okay with everything going on with the whole coronavirus if push came to shove i asked this question uh on a previous episode on my podcast <laughs> uh Will you eat your neighbors? And if so, which part would you eat first? Oh, no, yes, man. probably like their legs, probably like the arms, like where you got a lot of muscle because that's what you're going to need. Like the fat's cool, but you need the muscle, the protein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I, I'd probably stay away from the ass. Some people would probably go straight <laughs> for the ass. You know, they like to eat ass nowadays. They'll eat anything. I'd, I'd probably go from like them back muscle or something, you know, try and get that protein in, dude. And then maybe for dessert, depends on feeling, go down for the, maybe, <laughs> maybe do what, what, uh, what Lena did with the cow and shit and try that shit out or something. I don't know. I don't think I'm eating my neighbors, guys. I honestly think I'll just probably starve. I don't, I couldn't even drink a raw egg. You think I'm going to eat it like a human? Like, come on. Hey man, when you're starving, dude, when you're okay, starving true. and there's nothing around, man, you know, you start thinking of like, am I gonna like? Yeah, that's true. This because guy? am I gonna slow cook him? Um, you know, dude, he's yeah. not even gonna make am I gonna it to fry that him. Point? Like, he's not gonna make it to the I'm start. He's he, he's gonna get eaten. I'm yeah. gonna eat him. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> that's who I would go first, man. It's like, yo, I'm hungry, man. I'm gonna go oh, with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next next, qu next question. Would you rather have four legs or be in a wheelchair? Oh fuck. Dude, what would we even do with two extra legs? Like, what the fuck are we going to do? You'd be a fucking dog. What do you mean? I oh, hey, man, like, at, oh. Would you be able to join soccer, though? Oh, oh no. you would? No. I don't think. I think you'd be, like, ruled out. Because that's, that's, yeah, that's not cool. Like, you have cheating. an advantage. Yeah, it's not cheating. I mean, that's how you're born, though. Dude, yeah, but hey, I, it's like saying like, hey, some basketball players are seven feet tall. Some are like six feet tall. It's just the way you're born. Yo, I was just happen to be born with two extra legs. Like, if I, you know what, dude? You'd probably never get tired, man. Like, but your workouts, like, yo. Oh, you can just switch the legs that you want legs on? today. Yeah. yeah. Like, when you sub, you're just subbing um, out the legs. Okay, I would say I would rather have the four legs, I guess, Lena. I said I'd rather be a dog. Okay, she'd rather be a dog. She has a dog. We're all dogs. Roof. Misa, roof. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's you guys' favorite beer? Okay. Ooh. Um, I, I I got that one. My oh, favorite Jacob. beer is uh, Heineken. I drink Bud Light all the time, but my favorite beer is Heineken. Uh, Misa, what's your favorite beer? They're gonna have to go with a beer. It's called Magic Hat Number Nine. Nice. The best beer. Very tasty. What's that beer that I like over there at Union? That's my favorite beer. I get it because of what it tastes like. Oh, it's a 420 lager or some shit. Yeah, that shit's good. Um, what I was going to say to you, Misa, about that um, Magic Hat number nine, that shit sounds like it was brewed in like the Harry Potter world or some shit. <laughs> you know what it I mean? It sounds like it because they, they don't even tell you what how they make it. Or anything. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like the secret. Okay, so next question. Final one. Who was your first celebrity crush? Ooh. Oh, that's good. I got two. I, I got me. two. Mine was Maya. Mine's with Maya. Um. I, woke up, I woke up after a dream she was in because, of course, she was in the Rugrats. So, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Um, whew, I woke up and I was just dreaming about Maya. Hey, <laughs> I want to go there. Right, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my girl. Man. I would have I would have to go with Jessica Alba. Solid um, choice. Yeah, dude. Uh it's I mean, yeah, there's a lot of celebrities, but 
I remember mostly Jessica Alba. It's just always like, yo, Jessica Alba was in that movie. I'm buying it. Yeah. Give me some lotion while you're at it. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Lena, your first celebrity crush. Neo. Neo? Nice. Yeah, that boy can dance his, off, dance his ass off. That's for sure. Yeah. And his Yo, voice. And Neo got some bangers low key, bro. Go yeah. back and check out some Neo bangers okay. for sure. I know every single song of his. Right, Dre? You, you can uh you can uh support me on that, right? Neo's got some bangers. What's on that one? Neo Neo Crank. I like yeah. Neo. Hell yeah, dude. I fuck with Neo. Okay, so I would say um it would have to be for me guys, Jennifer Aniston. Oh right. yes. She's That's a good one. Blue. That's my a good blue. one. I really like that. And then girl. um Oh, I forgot who I was going to say after her, but um, I would say uh, Jennifer Aniston would be my uh, celebrity crush. I would go with that, definitely. I love her. Okay, so, Dre, we th thank you for those five random questions. You're the first guest that we've yeah. had that actually yeah. have five random questions for us. So, nice. Thank you for that. Thank you. But before we let you go and before we end this podcast, Lena has one more bonus question, and I'm going to throw it to her so she can ask you. One word? To describe your life, we ask that you do not use the word blessed. Blessed? Don't use blessed? Yeah, it's a basic. It's a basic answer. Everyone uses that. It ain't basic. That. They're just haters. Overcoming. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, Jesus. I like that. Good job. That, that's like that's like the first two word in one. Yeah. Oh, it's like yeah. he actually. It's not under construction. <laughs> Our boy. Yeah, overcoming is actually one word. Under construction is a hyphenated word. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> yeah, dude, we've got answers to that question that were totally wrong. They're like, um, very cool. <laughs> it's like, we yeah. asked you for one word, bro. I'm like, come on. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap up this episode of Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast, episode number 35, featuring our boy uh, Dre, aka Dre on Wills, host of the 1130 podcast. I want you guys to go check him out. Uh, go to his YouTube page. Go find him on all podcast platforms. Go support the people that support us. That's what this is all about. You know what I mean? So before we uh, close out the pod, I want to give everybody a chance to say some final thoughts. Um, Misa, go ahead and kick us off with that. Yeah, man. Um, first things first, dude. Thanks again for being on our podcast. Um, when Chris went on it and he had told me first about you, um, it was really cool that... that uh, that you got them on your podcast. I think uh, people like us that have podcasts should, you know, all, all be one, help each other out. Uh, we all have the same goal here. But, um, but yeah, man, thanks thanks for showing up. And everybody listening, make sure to hit them up. Make sure to um, go out there and, and look up the, the 1130 podcast. Um, it was a good episode. Um, Chris, Lena, always a good one, guys. And, yeah, don't forget to add us, guys. Don't forget to follow. Lena, final thoughts. Um, as always, you know, I just like to express our gratitude and you sharing this space with us and giving us your time and just being here with us. I think it's always important to recognize with everything going on, like our time is still very valuable. So we're just very appreciative of you coming on and telling us about you and sharing your life with us. So thanks. Thank you. All right, Dre. Floor is yours, brother. I thank you guys for inviting me on. My God. Like you guys were saying, I had Chris on for um, the last two weeks. It was very exciting. Um, the first time I had him on is like the second highest uh, view show I got going on. So uh, that was cool. And, you know, this has been a cool platform to um, Lena, uh, Misa, Chris, you know, you guys for having me on the, the conversation with Chris and Misa podcast. Shout that podcast out. And um, thank you guys, man. I appreciate it. Very much. For sure, man. Thanks, bro. <clears throat> Hell yeah, bro. So final thoughts from me today, guys. Um, of course, shout out Dre again. Um, like I said, go check him out. Uh, but one thing I, I did want to say about our boy here is that it's really cool when you meet someone online and you can instantly connect and you guys share like the same passion and the, sh and the same um, like goals. And it's actually cool because you meet people, like I said, that you would never, ever, ever probably meet in your life without starting a podcast and being on these social medias and trying to network and trying to grow and trying to exp expand your brand. So number one, shout out to you, Dre, for that. And number two, guys, thank you all for supporting us. Thank you for everyone who's been listening, everybody who's subscribed to our YouTube channel. 
um, everybody who supports everything we do and listens to our episodes. We do this for you guys. Uh, we couldn't get, we couldn't, we wouldn't be here without you guys. So shout out to y'all. Um, this was episode number thirty-five, conversing with Chris and Misa the podcast. Uh, make sure, like I said, guys, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Check us out anywhere that podcast's available. And we are.